my channel. Happy New Year. I hope everybody's festivities went well and everybody is healthy. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Since we've been having a lot of traditional food lately, I figured, okay, the holidays are over. Let's get back to some different things that I want to try on the channel. So today we're going to make some compound chicken. I'm going to show you my version of compound chicken. I just absolutely love this dish with some steamed white rice. Very easy to make. We're gonna prepare our ingredients. I have everything laid out here already. We're gonna get everything cut and ready so that the process of the cooking goes very quickly. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Laura where I post cooking and baking videos at least twice a week. If you are an oldie here, thanks for coming back and spending time with me. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'm gonna leave the link right there and go follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. If you have any questions about the recipe, please leave it in the comments below and I will get back with you. Any items and the recipe will also be left in the description bar below. Okay guys, let's get started. Okay, we are going to prep all our ingredients first. It seems like a lot, but you know, Asian dishes do require a lot of items. We're going to get started with the vegetables. Now the peppers, you can use green bell peppers traditionally, that's what they use. I love the red bell peppers, so that's what I'm gonna use. So use whatever your family likes. And all we do to this is you cube them into about one inch cubes, just like that. I like to use two different kinds of peppers. Now I use two different kinds of onion. I'm not gonna use all of this onion. You do the same thing, just cut them into cubes. Okay, I will put a couple of the green onion. And then we have our ginger. For the ginger, guys, what I do is I go to the store, I buy me two good large pieces of ginger, and I peel the whole thing and I cut it into small pieces and I keep it in the freezer. So I always have some when I need it. And if I'm gonna use it that day, I take it out, you know, an hour before I use it, and you can grate it real easily. It should be good right there. And then I have my peppers. I like to leave them whole. You can crush them up if you want to. I'm gonna leave these whole, so if somebody doesn't like it, they can just take it out. And lastly is the chicken. I'm gonna cut my chicken into little cubes, just like the vegetables. Clean it up, take off most of the fat. Just like that, about one inch cubes, just like that. And I do the chicken last so I don't have to wash the cutting board twice. Okay, now for the marinade for the chicken. You just need to marinate this about a half an hour. We're gonna take one egg white, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, One teaspoon of sugar, just regular granulated sugar, a teaspoon and a half of soy sauce, and some cornstarch. And we're gonna give this a mix. Okay, and then we're gonna pour it into our chicken. Mix it up. And that's it. We're going to let this sit on the counter for about 30 minutes and then we'll start to fry our stir fry. And for the sauce, we're going to need some cornstarch. I will have the measurements down below, guys. Don't worry about trying to keep up. Some chicken broth. Some chili paste. Soy sauce. Some vinegar. Some sugar. And some sesame oil. <clears throat> Okay. 
and then we just give this a whisk. You'll have to whisk it again before you pour it into your food because the cornstarch will settle at the bottom. Okay, now let's get our rice ready. Okay, now to get our, our jasmine rice ready, this is one cup of jasmine rice. Of course, you make what you need for your family. Very starchy, sticky rice. So what I like to do to get very fluffy rice is I rinse this over cold water until the water runs clear. And to that one cup of rice, to cook it, we're gonna use one and a half cups of water. So I'm just gonna rinse it. I don't know if you can see how, how white the water's coming out. And that's it. And then we're gonna pour it into our rice cooker. Okay, and to cook the rice, I use my rice cooker. You can do this on the stove in a little stock pot. Just pour your rice in there and your water. And I always put a little pinch of salt in there. And that's it. Turn your dial on and it should be ready in whatever time your cooker cooks. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, I have the wall pretty high heat. It's been warming up. I am going to add a little bit of olive oil, not too much, let it get hot. And the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to fry up our peanuts and our chili peppers. I like to do everything in stages so that nothing gets mushy because if you put too much in the pot it drops the temperature and then you tend to overcook things. And I have a bowl over here on the side that I'm going to be putting everything in so you can see that. Okay, let's go ahead and drop these in. it's hot let's drop in our chilies like I said if you don't want this hot just leave these out They're, you don't have to put them in and as soon as they start to fry up you can instantly smell the peanuts that's ready we're gonna dump it out in the bowl get a little paper towel and wipe this and we add a little bit more oil and we're going to do our chicken that's been marinating there for a bit. You don't want to fill up the pan. If it's too much chicken, give the chicken room so that it fries up quick. Okay, we're going to let this fry up until you have a lot of color. Just like that. Even colors. It takes it about five or ten minutes. Especially with the dark meat. The breast cooks up pretty quick, but the dark meat takes a little bit longer. Okay, everything is nice and toasty here. All the pieces are browned up. See how you can see the the chicken that's so nice and toasted, that's exactly what you want. Make sure that all that liquid evaporates and you don't get a mushy mess. Okay, I'm going to turn this down. We're also going to pop this into the bowl for now. Okay, and just a little splash of oil. We're going to do our vegetables. Our onion. The bell peppers, the red one, the yellow one. And then our green onion. And now we're going to put in our ginger. And now we're going to put in our liquid. We're going to put in our sauce. Before we put in our chicken and peanuts back, we're going to put in our sauce. See how it thickens everything up real nice? You don't want to overcook the peppers and stuff because you want a little bite to it. Okay, now we put everything back in. And everything's already cooked, so you just need to make sure and mix it up. And look at that. Not too much sauce in here. 
You don't want a whole bunch of sauce in here. This is not supposed to be drowning in sauce. Okay, and that's it. Look at that. You bring you in for a close look. And you see the level of the, the sauce. There's nothing rolling anywhere. And that's what you want to get some good pump out chicken. Okay, and we're going to turn this off and this is done. I'm going to go ahead and plate it up and we can give this a taste. Okay, and our rice is ready. As you can see that. Nice and fluffy. Look at that. Real fluffy rice. Okay, let me get this plated up. Okay, guys, look at this plate. This is scrumptious. Look at that. All the textures. You have the bell peppers, the peanuts, the chicken, the pepper, the red chilies, and the rice. This is delicious. It smells awesome. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and give this a taste. I'm dying to try this. A little bit of chicken. Some bell pepper. Mmm. 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 This is absolutely delicious, guys. One of my favorite dishes. I really enjoyed making this. Normally, I, I like to make some egg rolls for this, but I just ran out of time today. Just things got away from me. But I will leave the, the recipe for the egg rolls linked up in the cards above so you can take a look there. Make those with this dish. Awesome. Awesome pair. I can't say enough about this dish, guys. It's delicious. You just need to give it a try. Again, I will leave the recipe in the description bar and all the information that you may need. And thank you for watching my videos. Don't forget to share them with family and friends. Okay, guys. I will talk to you all later. Bye.